uh, live stream. I'm new to this. I'm just trying to try it out. So hopefully you guys um, enjoy it. Uh, and I figured out how to go horizontal right now. We are at the New York International Auto Show. I just want to give you a little bit of a, a walk around here. Uh, as you can see, we are in the Lexus booth here, and they got a they got a race car and and things. But look at this behind me. Here we have orange, a lot of orange. These are uh, this first one is a G80. That is actually not a concept. It's actually a production, but for the Middle East. And then in the center, check this one out. This is a concept vehicle. This is the Genesis X Grand Berlinetta concept. All right. There we go there. And we have this GV60 Magma concept. All right. That's uh, pretty hard now. So... I see one person has joined. Anyways, hopefully you can hear it. I'm using my sunglasses again for the microphone and continue on to the Genesis. Look at this. This is something else from Genesis. Obviously, this is a concept essentially going to be, it's like the, the GV90 essentially. But uh, we had a look at it yesterday and uh, it actually has, it has um, it had the doors open. And I did a little bit of a short on it, but you can see the Genesis in behind the grill. So much detail on here. What do you see the back though? They literally machined the lights into the sheet metal to create this type of clean lighting display. This is called the Neolin concept right here. Okay, look at this. What do you guys think of that? All right. Okay, so now we're going to head over. We're going to go and just go through. We'll see the Lexus booth. All right, so we have, this is nothing new. We've got the RX right there, but what's popular is the GX. This has been very popular. This is the new GX. All right. If you haven't seen it, this is there. Basically, it's the luxury version of the Land Cruiser. And that's also a hot vehicle that people want to see. But I like how they've actually outfitted it here. So, look at this. is like a, an off-road version. All right. There's the GX. And look at this. So, this has got all the goodies. You got the roof rack. You got the shovel, you get the pelicans on it. Would anyone actually take this off-road for a brand new $100,000 vehicle? Highly doubt it, but it does look the part, at least, for the GX550. I kind of like this one here. Not necessarily the color, but the application, because I'm not going to probably wouldn't be using it for a lot of off-roading, but you have a nice bike rack up there, and a, this... What is this company? Kamek? Kamek, anyways. This is a retractable awning that comes off. That could be handy. I would like to see that in any other vehicle. I think that's kind of cool. If you guys have any questions or you want to see anything in particular, let me know. All right. So we're going to go over here. This is the Infinity booth. Now, what they have shown today is uh, it's, it's, it's pretty deluxe. All right. Oh, almost tripped there. This is the new QX80. So we saw the, a concept not too long ago, and this is essentially the same vehicle. All right, so their whole thing is about being a box, being a square. So you see that the lights are all squared off. This grill is supposed to emulate flowing bamboo, basically crisscrossing uh, right there. We have a nice flow through. I think the, the front design is definitely recognizable for sure uh you have air suspension you can raise up 2.8 inches on here and then when you look here this is the three row full-size suv you have the retractable door handles but they're giving a demonstration right here and you can see the two 14.3 inch screens and not only are they good for wireless apple carplay android auto and your navigation but you got cameras all over this including the rear view mirror camera, you have an interior camera, you can do selfies, and you can basically use both screens for 
your front camera. So 170 degrees panoramic view for both screens. Uh, we won't bother them in there. They are having a little tour there. This is the autograph edition. Okay, you can see there and that's okay. And then we have, this is the rear. So this is how much room you have with the third row up. You have full power controls here. Now the big difference, no more V8 on this QX80. It's powered by a three and a half liter V6 twin turbo. And they actually have a cutaway of that right here. There we is. So they get 450 horsepower on this one right here. So that's pretty decent. And 516 pound feet. So it's more than the V8, 50 horsepower more. And it still has the same towing capacity of 9,500 pounds. So that will take care of all of your towing needs uh, for sure. Uh, another thing we didn't touch on in the QX80 is the new audio system. The clip system is fantastic and it has this thing called individual audio. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go pass through here and look at this. Who do we have here? We got, that's that's Motormouth Zach and Motormouth Andrea. Say hi. It's live, Brian. It, it's live, oh, it's live and you, no, you wouldn't wanna do that, would you? Right there, right there, I, around there. Anyways, yeah, I, yeah, good stuff. How are you enjoying the show? I like the show. It's very good. Oh, you know what? They might not even hear it because I'm using the microphones and the glasses right now. But anyways, Andrea says, make sure to subscribe to Everyday Review. She says, yeah, all right. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> all right. Bye. See you in a bit. <laughs> so those guys are always fun fun to talk to all right so let's go ahead over let's go over to toyota because they got some pretty cool things happening over there a lot of trucks a lot of truck stuff which i don't mind all right all right so they have a whole setup here of when the auto show starts with the olympians and paralympics that they they support there is a uh, a cool red bull Red Bulls, Tundra TRD Pro, right there. But one of my favorites, for sure. Look at that. Well, first of all, this this purple one's pretty cool. Is this blue one coming up, which is the the Tacoma X Runner? They're calling. This is a SEMA concept. All right. So <laughs> look at the size of the flares on here. You got carbon fiber wheels. This is powered by the 3.4 liter twin turbo. Um, Remember, this is just a concept, but it's a sport truck. This is a two-wheel drive vehicle, 10-speed automatic transmission. Uh, Horsepower-wise, look at the look how aggressive that hood is. It's kind of over the top. Uh, 421 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque for this Toyota X Runner. What do you think? Should they make this? If they do, would you buy it? <laughs> yeah. So there's the. Another version of I like I like these wraps that they're doing. It's pretty pretty good here, and there is what we are talking about the 2024 Land Cruiser. Uh, make sure to check back because uh, what what month is it? Are we in right now? We are in um, we're in March in April early April. We will take this for a drive. Hopefully, we'll get it off road because this is a very very capable vehicle. We did a good walk around at the Toronto Auto Show uh, with this one as well. So heading over here, we have a Volkswagen. Okay, Volkswagen, of course, one of the big things. This is the, a, a new Atlas peak, the peak edition for the Atlas. All right. Atlas, I like, you know, I like the Atlas. It's uh, If you want room, the Atlas is basically the biggest in its class for sure. You're not going to run out of room on the Atlas, especially if you want to uh, need room for passengers or cargo. But, of course, one of the big hits is the id buzz and i see i love how they have 1949 beetle along with it so you got the beetle and you got the buzz right there and i really hope volkswagen hurries up and delivers this vehicle it's been it's been forever uh and a day it really has but uh, they are promising uh, maybe by the end of you know the end of 2024 for canada it's probably gonna be later but yeah, so the North American version is a long wheelbase. More room on, on this one in North America. 
and uh, let's see we can have a quick look right there and there's the interior it's quite funky and it folds folds pretty good nice and flat seats as you see okay that's not bad what do you guys think of the the buzz now i don't know why i don't know if anyone's commenting maybe not because there's only eight people watching but um does anyone have any questions and also can you just put it in the comments that if you can hear the audio that for the talking that'd be great uh i don't know maybe if i hit this so i can see no okay all right so now we are going to walk over to the other end here there i am remember i'm talking through these ray-ban glasses right now and i hear the, the the audio quality is really good people say so okay we got a couple a few exotics here we got a beautiful ferrari yeah that's a, a personal vehicle but look at the lambo look at that lambo now this would be cool to cool to not just drive but to own i think yes and okay so this is called daydream uh, there they give you three different power unit options you can go air cooled hybrid or electric so they're really giving you a lot of different options for your classic vehicles which is very cool so Believe it or not, one of the big hits of this show is in the Nissan booth right here, and it's not the GTR. It's not the Z or the Z. I do love this color package here with the red accents, but it is this. It's the new Nissan Kicks. Why? Because this is a mainstream vehicle that people can actually get into they can afford uh it's bigger now it's got way different styling it's very squared off uh we did that live yesterday on it but um uh, in case you missed it yeah you can see it's, it's it's got its own individual design this will not be carried over to any other designs of nissan this is its own identity this kicks right here and it's bigger of course but it's longer it's wider of course and it's taller but they've given you a lot more room for width near the top which gives you more shoulder room and a lot of really cool design cues on this kicks for sure so yeah that is the kicks from nissan now we're going to swing around here show you some other products there is the armada A different pathfinder this is the rock creek edition and we go into the ford booth here okay that look at this i think this is the mustang gtd it is okay this thing it's this is the first time i've seen it uh live all right there it is look at this mustang Look at those louvers on there. Oh my goodness. Okay. You got Pilot Cup 2 tires. Uh, yeah, not really curb friendly for sure. This is uh, the hood. Looks pretty aggressive. And what I like about auto shows is sometimes you get nice cutaways, as you can see here, where they've cut it away so you can have a better look at how things are so this is the front suspension of this gtd by the way this thing is not inexpensive it's about three hundred thousand dollars look look at the size of these rotors they're basically they're the size of some wheels in general massive brembo brakes okay this is the transaxle drive line. On April 17th of this year, we will celebrate 60 years. Oh, all right. And this is a beautiful rear suspension set setup. Look at this.
All right. Okay, let's get away from the presentation here a little bit and check out one of my favorite off-road vehicles, which is the Bronco. Okay. Off-roaded. This is the Bronco Wild Track, to call it here. And they've got the the doors off with just the bars. Now you gotta have to check with your local jurisdiction. Some areas this is not legal, okay? But for off-road, it's pretty cool. No roof, wide open, wide open sides. Yeah. And what do we got here? Okay, this is called the track chair. So I am going to assume this is uh, going to help people with mobility issues explore the outdoors. That's pretty awesome. This they they're calling it the ultimate all-terrain wheelchair, just like that. All right, so let's move on here. Oops, sorry, just crossed cross through your your. Uh, your adventure setup. All right, so let's go over to the Chevrolet booth. This, she's doing the presentation. Most likely, this is essentially a run through because it is media day today, and tomorrow the show opens to the public where you'll have a lot of these product specialists speaking at their booths. Okay, there we go, we're the Raptor. Okay, this is the new Bronco Raptor. That just came out not too long ago. All right, Anthony, awesome Fords, awesome. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. All right, there is the Raptor R. Now I had a chance to drive this at one time Believe it or not, I had to kind of turn it down because I didn't have a lot of time that week. But also, uh, our gas was at record pricing. And it would have literally cost me a small fortune to drive it for a week. And, um, yeah, I would. I know I can't even make it back uh, uh, on any type of monetization or anything. It would have been fun, though. But, yeah, this is uh, this is quite, quite the machine. I do like that GTD, though. All right. So let's head over to... The Chevy booth, all right. All right, see what they have here. Okay, they've got Corvettes, of course. The ZR2, this is the Bison. Okay, that's a 2024 Colorado Bison. And once again, another cutaway. This is of the three liter turbo diesel engine, Duramax. So yeah, lots of trucks. I think this Bison looks pretty cool. They have the Multimatic suspension in the back. So you can see. These things really need to, you gotta really drive them like that. That would be the, w the best way to drive some of these trucks for sure. We're just gonna pass through here. I can't see a lot. A tons of stuff other than oh okay this is a here's the new 2025 equinox this is the one a lot of people are waiting for if you're um looking for a nice compact it's got some pretty aggressive tires on this one here this is the active equinox active it's called and there's the new traverse the Z71 Traverse. It looks pretty big. It's a big vehicle. We haven't taken that one for a drive. And we have the Corvettes. And another Corvette. I do like the convertible Corvette. All right. We're getting into the electrics here. This is the Equinox EV. This is the RS version. This is going to be popular, basically, for the entry level, for the pricing, depending. 
And here is the Silverado EV. And there's a, I think it's the first time I've actually seen the, the front area. It's not as wide as the Lightning, though, I, I find. But it's still, it's pretty deep and pretty high. It's decent. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, an all-electric Blazer police car. All right. Okay, that's interesting. So we are going to run over here. Okay, we got Bentleys. We got Rolls Royces. But this here, we have the all-new Porsche Macan Electric. Okay. Just the styling alone, it's 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 quite sharp. It's almost almost as almost the, the front end is definitely different. This is the first time I've actually seen it myself. So let's see. Okay. Excuse me. All right. Okay, they're going screens like crazy as well. You got a passenger a co pilot screen, you got the regular screen, and you have your information screen. I do like how Porsche does it in their curved, not just curved, but rounded as well on the tops. It doesn't look a, a, a huge amount of different compared. This is the turbo. Remember, they use their different terminology, but um, this is the back seat here. I'll turn on the light maybe. If that helps, we have a uh, rear seat climate control. Yeah, the Macan still is not a large vehicle. Good for four, but um, definitely not the most room for the rear seats. And here is the rear of the Macan electric turbo. Okay. Okay. Over here, we have the new Panamera. This is the four. Okay, uh, there's someone else is in it right now, so I don't want to bother them, but let's move on. Because there's something I really want to show you that's pretty cool, I thought. Two, four, sitting, relaxing. Tiring at the auto show. You do a lot of walking. There's a Lamborghini Iris. Over here, we have the Subaru booth. They always have a cool booth. This one actually kind of makes me kind of almost motion sick, though. I've seen this display that they use. So they use these projectors up top, and they project down. And, yeah, with all the different motion of the background screen and the floor moving, sometimes I actually have to close my eyes or else I will, like, yeah, I'm actually starting to kind of waver right now but that's the new forester everybody okay i'm gonna go around this i can't even i can't even walk on that right now actually you know what? i don't think those okay I, I was wrong that is not projection those are screens those are all individual screens that they've they've got happening on that floor and you have this carpet emulating rocks okay yeah i, I don't even want to walk here but yeah this is the new forester Looks pretty good. I, I like the gold wheels uh, and uh, the more rounded looks. Looks pretty cool. Okay. We're going to move on. Now we're going to do just do a couple more booths here because I got to get packed up and uh, head out to the airport to fly home. So look at this. There's Travis, Travis Pastrana's car here. Wouldn't that be a hoot to drive? Oh my goodness. Yeah. There's uh there's some rally footage that they've got going on here. Okay, that's okay. Over to the Kia booth. They've got their biggest one was well, first of all, there's the Kia Carnival now. Uh not a lot of difference, but the big difference is available in a hybrid uh now. And if you look here. The EV9 won North American Utility Vehicle of the Year this just yesterday, and it also won World Car of the Year, Kia EV9. And we've done a review on that. Actually, I've got a, some more content coming out on that. So uh, I think it's well-deserved. 
how it didn't win in Canada, uh, it's just beyond me. So this is the K4, which they just announced. This is the K4 GT line. Now it'll come in two different power plants. It'll be available with a two liter with 147 horsepower or a turbo with 190 horsepower and 195 pound feet of torque. And that's going through an eight speed automatic transmission. And we go over to its partner on this side. And this is the K5 GT. Okay, that's a sleek looking car. I like the, the green calipers on there. And uh, so we're gonna head off here into, we have almost, almost done a full circle now, kind of. That's what I like about the, the New York Auto Show. It's not extremely big. You can get around it pretty easily. Not like some of the European ones that are just like, you'd need days and days in order to cover everything. Okay, so this, um, we went over to GMC earlier and I thought this was pretty cool. So you can see there, people are getting into, that's the Hummer EV. Okay, so of course, GMC, a lot of trucks, right? But the truck at the end is what caught my attention for sure. Look at the Hummer EV's front going down. Power front, that's cool. I, do, I didn't notice that. I like how it actually lights up the Hummer in the in the lighting bar. What do you think? You like it? <laughs> so we have the Denali HD here. <laughs> but over here, we are going to run into, this is the one that caught my eye, and this is the, it's the first ever Sierra EV. Okay, so this is the GMC Sierra EV. This is gonna be the first edition in the Denali trim. Now, when you buy this, it's going to be purely exactly like this. You have no options of color, options. It's gonna be fully loaded. It's gonna run about 107,000 US dollars, 400 mile range, 700 and, uh, 754 horsepower, I believe, 784 pound feet of torque, towing 9,500 pounds. But so uh, this is what I like. This has the, the multi-purpose tailgate, but it has the bulkhead, the folding bulkhead. That is really, really useful. My friend Jason, if you're watching this, you know, he had his avalanche and you know he would fold that down. And it's for some people it's extremely useful. Very cool feature. So this is uh yeah, this is the GMC Sierra EV edition one, they're calling it. And we're just rounding the bend here. We got some, we got the new Buick and Vista. There we are. I don't know about the styling of here, but no. Nah. Okay. And we have, there's a gold car here. This is interesting. This, this is the newest vehicle from Acura. And this is their ZDX that'll be coming out. We're also uh, going to be testing the the um, TLX Type S very soon. So make sure to watch for that video. That's going to be fun. I wonder if they have it here. So here is the ZDX Type S. Okay. All right. So I'm going to uh, have to... Cut it short now because I just got a text that uh, the shuttle is waiting uh, for us. So I'm going to say thank you for watching. I'll end off with, of course, the Ionic 5N. I was able to drive this car, by the way, and it's it's it really is a beast, but a fun one at that. It's really cool. So, anyways. Thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you again. Ciao. And uh, Susan and Sammy, thanks for the views. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and, and thanks for the support, guys. Cheers. And continue leaving comments if you have any questions. Let me know. Okay. Bye. Uh, 
I'm trying to. Okay. I gotta figure out how to how to end this. I'm as you can tell, I'm really, really <laughs> new new to this live thing. Like let's let's at least give you something better looking than me to to look at while I try to figure out how to how do I how do I end this? No, cancel. This is pretty funny for you guys, I bet. Hey, how do I do it? Maybe. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm going to stop streaming.